We're going to look at the duel between Davion Mitchell and Steph Curry tonight. Davion Mitchell came into the league just this year, and he's already a plus defender. Everyone has probably seen his highlights of him giving Donovan Mitchell a huge headache. He's just really good at this point of attack defense and lateral movement so quick and strong. He actually grabbed the ball out of Donovan's hands and then he can run a play. I really like watching him. I think he plays with a lot of charisma. You want to see what he's going to do, even if you're rooting against him. And so this is a big night. I wanted to see what he would do guarding Steph Curry because Donovan Mitchell, great player, but he's a real one-on-one -on -one specialist. Steph, he's great one-on-one, -on -one, but he's got a lot more in the toolbox because he can play off ball and the team is set up to support people playing off ball. So I was really curious to see how Davion Mitchell would do against Steph tonight. So we're gonna look at all the plays basically where he guarded Steph. Davion's currently guarding Steph and you see he's following Steph very closely. I'm, I'm sure Davion has it in his head that he's gotta follow Steph no matter where he goes. If Steph goes to the corner, he's gotta follow him to the corner. If Steph goes to the bathroom, he's gotta follow that guy right in there, get the stall right next to him. He's committed. So the first play, the Warriors decide, well, let's see how Davian's off-ball defense is. We know he's really good on-ball. So Steph is going to run this series of screens. This is not a play that's run very often. So he runs Davian off this screen, and Davion gets faked out by Steph's path. Here's a screen. I think he thought Steph was going to come out here and get this quick pass, but Steph instead took a quick turn, and he's coming over here and gonna get a screen from Kevon Looney. So unfortunately, Davion, right away with his eagerness, overshoots the mark and shoots past Steph, which means that this defender has to switch on to Steph and Davion has to switch on to Jordan Poole. Okay, so, so much for that. But now what's gonna happen with Steph, Kevon Looney's here, it's time for another screen, and whenever Steph gets this kind of pin down screen, the hope is that this defender will lock and trail Steph and this defender will jump out at Steph. And if they don't do that, then Steph will probably get a decent shot. So here he comes, there's a screen, and that's exactly what happened. This guy jumped out to meet Steph. This fellow's trailing, which leaves Looney Looney here completely free to the basket. Draymond sees it and he rifles a pass. Unfortunately, I, I don't know if it actually hits people in the stands. Ook. Okay, it lands around here. He just fired it about four feet over Looney's head. He's got his hands on his head in agony pose. He knew that was a free dunk. Still on his head. Next play, Sacramento scores, and the Warriors have been emphasizing counterattacking fast, so they just immediately get the ball in. That means Steph is close to Harrison Barnes. Good old Harrison Barnes. And so Barnes has to take Steph Davion is over here, but Barnes is saying, hey, you got to switch because I have to cover Steph. This is a very dangerous position for Harrison Barnes. He's just got vision of Steph, no vision of the ball here. So this is just begging for some kind of backdoor cut. Zim right there. But Steph just bobs it out of bounds. Kind of a sloppy beginning for the Warriors. The motion is completely working. It's just all the other parts. So there's a miss, and just by counterattacking fast is a cross match because Steph is not guarding Davion. So at the end of the play, Davion has to go all the way over to find Steph. So if the Warriors go slow, Davion can do that. But the Warriors are committed to going fast. So Zam, Steph is running. In fact, he's running so far that no one is near him. You can see Davion Mitchell is pointing, saying, Hey man, someone get Steph. The Kings just get caught flat-footed here. This defender had to guard the corner, and Steph, in fact, gets a completely open three. But his shot's a little bit off right now, not quite calibrating the laser cannon. <laughs> so, in this play, so we know that Davion's been having trouble finding Steph after each play because of the cross-matching. So here, he just is waiting for Steph. It's like... I'm going to meet you outside of school at 3 o'clock, right? He's just, he's waiting here to pick up Steph on purpose. I'm not going to lose you this time. So there he is. He's with Steph. He's actually just reaching out to touch you. Like, are you real? Can I really guard you? Please, just let me guard you. So 
the Draymond. Counterattacking fast. Davion turns his head for a second to look at Draymond. I think he's looking here, or he's looking at Bielitsa, or looking he's looking at this side, and that gives Steph a microsecond to get away from him. Quick cut. You can see Davion, it's just like a, a fifth of a second, it, but Davion is a little late moving. Bielitsa's here, menace him. Steph is gonna land around here. And that's just enough. That one fifth of a second, and this is an open shot for Steph. And that is a closed shot for Steph. That's the dream of the motion offense. And that's why it's so hard to guard Steph because he's just always in motion off ball. Davion is guarding Steph. In fact, he's so close to Steph, you can't even see him. If this were NBA 2K, his model would be clipping Steph's model. So Steph tries to do some judo to use this kind of defensive attention against the Kings. This looks like Steph is going to get this side screen. But instead, Davion stops Steph from taking this cut. This defender is zoned in on Steph, which lets Bielitsa sneak out. And suddenly Steph is here to screen Bielitsa's man. There's no way Davion is gonna leave Steph, right? So Steph is again drawn two to himself. Davion is really unfortunate positioning. He's just staying near Steph. So Bielitsa now has a completely open three, which he misses, but that was a good play. So this play starts with Davion on Steph, his new best friend, but the Warriors run a very simple action to get Davion off of Steph. It's embarrassingly simple, so Gary Payton II dribbles at Steph. It's going to be handoff, and Steph's going to get it. This will serve as a screen, and Davion immediately calls for the switch. He just gives up and says, hey, cover me. There, you see he's raising his hand saying you got to switch so that means this defender has to now switch on to steph and davion has to cover probably gp2 there so there's the switch very clean switch good but that means that steph is being guarded by not davion which that was easy to be honest if the kings were completely devoted to the matchup they could do a scram switch right now where davion just runs over and takes steph and this guy runs over i i don't think the warriors would necessarily realize they were doing that. And then also, no one is very afraid of GP2 taking a three. Now Steph is running towards the corner. You remember the Steph rule. If Steph is running at you, then you just screen the man that he's, that's guarding him. Here's Steph running. This is well defended by the Kings. They see that here's a pin in screen. Steph is coming this way. This guy's trailing Steph. So this defender has to jump out and then this defender has to switch to the screener. Good switch. So now Steph is on Buddy healed, which again is not a matchup they're afraid of. So Steph just isos Buddy and drains a mid-range in his face. Davion found Steph after the play. Good for him. Here's another simple screen. Otto Porter just stops. That's this back screen. Steph can take it and Draymond can loop a little flare pass over and this defender really dropped the ball here it would have been better if he'd switched on to Steph because Otto Porter is nailing Davion with the screen Steph's open this man steps in to help good play good defense GP2 is the man who's being guarded by the helper so he goes immediately backdoor cut Steph finds him oh just yo no. Good catch, and it's just a little hard finding the finish from GP2. Next play, Davion and his soulmate cross in half court. A long distance screen here. The Kings just give up the switch. There's a screen, nobody's fighting through the screen. This player switches over to Steph, Davion switches over to the screener, and that's it. And then Steph shoots it in his face. Oh my God. <laughs> so, this is respect for Davion. I don't think Steph would have shot that in Davion's face, but that's a really simple screen to get Davion off of Steph. So this is two edged praise here. I like Davion, but the Warriors are just not giving him any chance to clamp Steph one on one. And that's what a game plan's for. Here, Looney Looney is setting the screen on Steph. Davion is not gonna navigate this great, and so he's going to have to just trail Steph. And Steph knows his advantage, and he's just not gonna stop. Bullets towards the big man to try to force the switch, which he gets. The Kings spent first quarter switching, but 
they were dissatisfied with the outcome, and so now they're spending this quarter blitzing Steph. So this defender's on Steph. Davion has locked and trailed Steph, and he's going to come on to him. So that's two people. Steph seems to have anticipated this, and he's throwing this beautiful bounce pass to Looney, who's cutting in. The Kings actually did a good job recovering. Now everyone's collapsing into the paint here to stop Looney, but there's still an advantage here. There's a 45-degree cut available here if Looney can hit him. But this defender jumps to stop the pass to this 45 degree cut. So Looney's just gonna power in and try to hit the seam. <laughs> Pretty clumsy, but he gets the foul. A lot of what Steph does is acting. He's not gonna win an Emmy, but here you can look at his body language. He's just gonna be walking here like, I'm so tired, I'm 32. I'm an old man. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen. And look at how tired he's walking. Like, yeah, I'm not even in the play. Don't worry about me. I'm just spacing. And then suddenly he's going to accelerate. So that's the acting. So there, I'm so old. I'm so old. And then, bam. He's got a foot and a half advantage on Davion. So he's making this 45 degree cut pass coming to Steph on this cut. Beautiful. This defender had to rotate to stop Steph because he slightly beat Davion on this cut. So now we have two men on Steph. Completely open shooter in the corner. Steph finds him and just misses. Good rotation from Fox to get back out there, but that was a makeable shot. And a good advantage just from that clever cut from Steph and his uh, Tony Award winning acting. The Warriors did this earlier in the game. Draymond dribbles fairly deep so that he can get Steph on the other side of Davion. That means that Davion has to look at the ball this way. And the second that he looks at the ball, then Steph can cut. So I noticed that the Warriors have been trying to get Davion into this kind of position. And so Davion peeks over his shoulder. Steph immediately cuts. And now Davion is scrambling to catch up to Steph. Steph picks up the ball all the way over here. Davion has got a bad angle to get him. That leaves the baseline open. Steph goes baseline. This defender rotates to cut off the baseline drive and just gets a piece of Steph. And this shot, if he had made it, would have been so beautiful. Over the back of the backboard, so close. We pick up the action in the third quarter when Davion Mitchell checks back in. Here's a screen. The Kings just give up the switch right away. This must be the defensive plan. I don't think Davion would just willingly give up the switch like this, but it's going off with Otto Porter Jr. and Steph is going to be guarded by Buddy Heald. So now Steph starts shaking and baking, runs right by him. I don't even know how he got that layup through. That was incredible. Davion's on him, but he's going to have to navigate two screens, which is pretty tough. Bang, one screen. Draymond really tries to nail him with this screen, so Davion has to give up here. And so now Steph is matched onto, I think that's Tristan Thompson. And so he just goes up. For him, that's an open three. He just missed it. I really like watching Davion Mitchell play, but this is pretty much the base Warriors offense that's taking him out. Like the Warriors just don't give him a chance to try to lock up Steph because there's it's a team game. So Draymond feeds the post. If you've been following the series, you know that this is an automatic. Draymond comes over to screen for Steph. This is the post split. And Draymond really nails Davion with the screen. So Davion gets hung up on the screen, so this defender has to step out. And now, I guess the, the king's scheme is that Davion, he's got to trail Steph. And I don't know if this defender is supposed to eventually recover. Like, we never get to that part of the defense because the Warriors just punish so fast. We have two going to Steph. Who's the open man? Davion is leaving Draymond. He doesn't want to spot up over here. That would be crazy. So he's going to cut. Steph finds him beautifully. And he actually has an open lane to the basket. Nice layup, Draymond. Davion covering Steph again. I think... Davion is anticipating that Draymond's going to nail him with the screen. After all, that's what happens every other play. So he's really eager to try to get ready to fight around the screen. 
Steph goes behind the back, heading this way. So Davion goes fifth gear, blasting to try to stay with Steph. He doesn't know that behind him, Draymond's not even screeny. He, he looks like he's negotiating a soybean contract or something. Simple crossover. And for the first time all game, I think, Steph tries to beat Davion off the dribble. And Davion is very unprepared for this to happen. He's leaning this way to try to beat Steph to the screen. And then Steph just crosses him over. The Kings all look flat-footed. They can't even believe Steph just tried to dribble past Davion. He just runs to the basket. Nice finish. That was kind of a miraculous little finger roll. So in the end, Steph had a pretty sweet line. Shooting percentage, not good. But... I can't really say it's because Davion shut him down. Like I said, the Warriors offense is built so that you can't easily have one or two people keying in on your star player. That's kind of the whole reason Steve Kerr installed this because Mark Jackson's offense was simpler and had less off ball and the Clippers were able to blitz Steph and hurt the efficiency of the whole team. So that's not Davion's fault by any means, but I also wouldn't give Davion credit for Steph's shooting off night, as they say.